What's going on guys? I'm getting ready to get this review on surprisingly I didn't think I was gonna like this boy album, but I, I actually do like his album Wale Wale Used to be One of my favorite rappers at the time but guys when he first first came out and uh, and, and even around his mixtapes guys his mixtapes and his first album was like maybe like my favorite album, you know, uh, 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 his first album, Attention Deficit, was my favorite work by him. After Attention Deficit, then it was Ambition, and guys, I was not feeling Ambition, guys, and maybe like 2011, I was not feeling Ambition, okay? Uh, you know, I just didn't know which direction he was going with that album. But then, after Ambition, then it was The Gifted. Okay, I was just completely lost with Wale. I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't know which direction he was going, period, in his career. So, guys, I, I, I don't know what went on, what happened with those two albums, but those were not my favorite albums by Wale. I'm sorry, nothing on them albums grafted me. You know, guys, I'm going to be honest, because... I, I I just, those two albums just wasn't cutting it for me. But guys, the album about nothing. Okay, I, I, I'm going to give him his props on this one. Okay. Out, out to Wale because he kept this album in the same frame as one of his mixtapes. The mixtape about nothing, guys, which came out in like 2008. I think the year before... I believe it came I believe that mixtape came out the year before Attention Deficit. And guys, I was actually glad that this this was entitled the album about nothing. Cause I'm saying, okay, well maybe it might sound like the mixtape about nothing, guys. It's actually similar to the mixtape, guys, because uh uh if you guys remember that show Seinfeld, guys, it's based off that TV show. Actually the mixtape was, but the album is too. Okay, uh I guess uh Jerry Seinfeld is one of his you know, one of his idols uh, or whatnot, because I guess he likes that TV show. And, you know, it, uh, and segments, different segments of the song, you will hear Jerry Seinfeld uh, or, and, and little segments from the TV show in, inside the songs, guys. So I remember you, uh, uh, you, you would hear uh, uh, bits and pieces of uh, Elaine and George and Kramer and, you know, Jerry and, you know, guys, I, I, I used to be a big fan of that TV show back then, but guys, I, he kept it in the same frame, uh, uh, uh as, as the mixtape guys, which is what I like about this album, guys. I wish his other albums would have had the same direction, you know, as far as to him telling his stories, guys. I, I think he had to go to an emotional state for, in order for him to come to the terms of what this album was going to sound like. You know, uh, I, I guess with his other albums, he wanted to try something different. But I, I don't, I'm not sure if the what he was doing with those other albums was, was, was the right fit for him. This album sounds more on his speed. You know, um... Shout out to the directors. Shout out to J. Cole because they're best friends, I guess. J. Cole is cool with everybody. See, this is J. Cole, that's my dude right there. But anyway, I you can tell in some of the songs J. Cole gave him some pointers. You know, uh, he probably did a couple of the beats too. So most of the songs sound like songs J. Cole would make, which is what I would give him his props on. But guys, I actually like it. The uh intro about nothing it started off with Jerry Seinfeld. Time to clock in, baby. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I actually right. like it, you know. It's the start to the album. And I actually understand where he was going with this. But he sounds like his old self, which I gotta give his props on. And it's time proceeds preoccupied with everything. I think it's about time that we sing of nothing. Okay, I actually like this song. Number two, the helium balloon. He took this shit to another level. And guys, I, I was actually I was actually catching my life when I had heard it. Oh my god, let's 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 get into it, guys. Let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into these songs. Okay, I gotta give him his props because this is probably one of my favorite songs on the album, The Girls on Drugs. And shout out to him for putting Janet Jackson's We Go Deep in this shit. Hey. My favorite hey. bitch in dreams 
stripping around round two. She let us say, I fuck what you think you for coming through. She uh -huh. gon' get you when your feelings to get you out of here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Trying to get you out to choose. Ch <laughs> Still we keep it low. Keep them all on and need to know. <clears throat> Cause somebody tell somebody and somebody. In the majority of these songs, guys, you can tell that Wale really had something to talk about. You know, even though it's called the album about nothing, the album is actually about something. He had a little mixture of, you know, relationships. He had a little bit, uh, 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 he had a lot of things to talk about. The world, uh, success, um, wealth, uh, women, uh, you know, he just had a lot to talk about. He had, uh, he talked a little bit about depression. He talked a little bit about his, his, his baby, which he lost, which I didn't know about till I actually looked at a couple of interviews about this album, guys. I can tell he was, he really had, he really had his mindset to what this album was going to be about. So, this is why I give him his props this time. Wale's direction for this album, I would say, was amazing. Music-wise, he chose a lot of different experimental sounds. Uh, he, he, he gone play, he's took me places that I didn't know he was going to take me. You know, uh, some of the songs really caught me by surprise. I, I, I was just catching my life. I said, okay, Wale is fucking back in business. Thank you, because I used to really actually... I used to really, you know, how, how I'm crazy about J. Cole. I used to be kind of crazy about Wale at that time, you know, before I knew who J. Cole was at that time. So, I, I, I actually love the way he went as far as rap-wise, music-wise, and his direction was amazing. I, I really love the song he did with Usher, but, uh, the matrimony. He was talking about marriage. You know, he just had a different series of things to talk about on this album that I just really enjoyed. And guys, I think you guys might enjoy it as well. Uh, 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 is this his best album? I'm not sure yet. He might have to come out with something else to prove, but guys, this album album is pretty good. If I had to get this album a scale, this album would be on a scale of 7 to 10 for me. I get this album a 7 out of 10. Because he did put in a lot of effort and he did put in uh you know a uh, uh, a lot of um messages that 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 you know that you can learn and guys i actually learned a couple of things just by you know him opening up about depression and i guys i really like the direction he went this album so guys you guys will not be disappointed all the wale fans you know i i i i uh, I like Wale, you know, um, I just didn't like his last couple of albums, but the direction he went this album, I, 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 he turned it this time, y'all. I gotta give him his props. So I give it a 7 out of 10, okay? Uh, 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 I give this album maybe four and a half stars, okay? You know, he, he, he really did set a bar with this one. You know, thank God, okay? Uh, and, uh, shout out to... All the people who had something to do with this, with the song The Pessimist, I really wish J. Cole would have been on that song because, you know, he probably would have murdered him, but, uh, uh, no shade, no shade, but he probably would, if, if J. Cole was on the song, he probably would have, you know, out, 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 wrapped him, but I guess that's the reason why he let 
J. Cole, you know, just just do the, you know, because it's Wale's album, and, you know, uh, J. Cole just decided to just do the chorus, but I actually like the Pessimist, I just would have liked it better if J. Cole had a verse, you know, no, there's no shade at all, but I'm just saying, you know, J. Cole is just up just a little bit more from Wale. Guys, this is no shade. I'm being honest, you know, um, but I do like the album. I got to give Miss props. So this is a, 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 a thumb up for me. You know, uh, Wale, I will say you did your thing, bruh. You know, uh, keep it keep it coming, okay? I, I, I like this album now. If you make another album, please keep it coming because I'm actually catching my life with this one, Wale, okay? Okay. <laughs>